This is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot, and this is the first installment of how to build a PrinterBot. And so what we're going to be doing today is uh, to put together the bases. And so these bases are true riprap parts. They're made on another printer. Uh, in fact, they're made on a PrinterBot. So these printers can make themselves. They can replicate. So that's why they're called RepRap, replicating rapid prototype. Prototyper. So, um, first thing you want to do when you get your parts is inspect them, obviously. There's going to be some areas that you might need some cleaning. One way to clean those would be a razor blade. Another one, if you've got one of these, it's kind of nice to have this little file. Works really well on these printed parts. Um, but if you don't have that, you don't need it. Uh, you can actually use one of these threaded rods to kind of clean out the area. Now, uh, these threaded rods are the first thing to go on here. But uh, you'll notice um, I've already got the, the ones on the inside, uh, so save myself a little time. And uh, it kind of runs in really tightly to where the linear bearing zip ties are going to go. So the first thing we really need to do is put these zip ties in. So um, this uh, is the inside with that little brace there. And so I like to put mine together with that fat part of the zip tie on the outside. So we're going to put those through all four and then pull those through there. And we'll do that on both sides. Do the same thing and they come up through that one. And then we'll get our bearings in place. Okay, there's one. Again, I start on the outside. Put them all down through. Now, some of you guys uh, may think, well, why not a plastic part to clamp over the top? Actually, these, these bots are really forgiving. Um, rigidity is important, but when you have a little play, these, these actually zip ties, they give you a little bit of uh, forgiveness if uh, something isn't completely straight and uh, it's worked out really well plus this this bot is really you know like we said on the Kickstarter it's a great first bot and uh, it's not you know we don't claim it to be um, the best we claim it to be the best value and we claim we we really like to say that it's the easiest to build, and you'll see that. So those snapped in really nicely. Sometimes you may actually, in fact, I can tell they're going to hold themselves in there before I even uh, zip time close. But you might find that occasionally you have to clean out this side or this side because uh, the first layer of a print actually um, is a little more flat. It's squished down a little bit more on the bottom. So you may find that there's a little flare at the bottom of your parts, and sometimes that flare can interfere with the correct dimensions. But uh, this was no problem, actually. This fits together really well. So we've got our zip ties. Now we can pull that up a little bit and zip tie these closed. Now I don't like to like uh, really go crazy on these. I like to get them snug. There'll always be a chance later to uh, get them even tighter. Uh, but we're just trying to put this thing together. And so we, there's plenty of room for adjustment. I'll tell you, you know, these, uh, these holes are pretty close to the bearing. And I have, at least on the LCs, the wooden ones, I've actually broken the hole in between there because I was really pulling too hard. So you don't got to go crazy. You just want to get it snug for now. And we can tighten these down later. I don't like to tighten them down until I have a smooth rod put through here to hold them really, really straight when I really start cranking on them. But for now, that'll be great. And uh, the only reason I have these here is later we're going to clip those. Uh, you don't need those for anything else. So again, we're putting these together, uh, these uh, linear bearings first. because 
the area on the bottom where that threaded rod is going to go through is a pretty tight fit. Let me show you. So when I get, you see how tight that is? Um, it's just tight enough that where if I wanted to turn that, that nut, it's going to be a little difficult. I can still turn it, uh, but it just kind of gets in your way. So what I'm going to do is move this to the end a little bit. I really like to make these as wide as possible. Um, so we're going to do one side first, all four rods. And again, I'm going to start with hand tight. Whoa. I'll start with my, these uh, linear bearings are really greasy. Um, there we go. Some my daughter, she, when she puts these things together, um, she's been helping. She likes to wipe off all the bearings first because she hates that, that greasy stuff that they ship with. Keeps everything oiled up real nice, but it's kind of messy. Makes your fingers slick. See how I'm just peeking that through the end there? That's about all you need. Now, what I like to do is really get those on the end on this side, and they'll kind of, uh, when we get to tightening, they'll go real flat, and this will be nice and perpendicular. But uh, you'll find that, you know, early before it, it tightens down, it'll be all splayed about and look wrong. But no worries. We'll get that dialed in. We want it to be somewhat forgiving until we get this all together. Now the reason I um, the reason I put one side together first and then the other is I like to just tighten down one side and make my adjustments on the other. And I'll show you a couple tricks with the adjustments. It is very important um, that you It's important that everything is, you know, level, parallel, um, very, uh, that one was a little harder using the wrench. You want everything to be nice and straight and plumb and, you know, all of that. Um, just tighten those down a little bit. Now, I'm not going crazy with these. I just want them tight enough where they're snug. If you start cranking on this plastic, you could crush it not necessary right now to really get that down tight. Um, I've seen people use um, Loctite. I've seen different methods. Uh, but you know, I just like to tighten them down about hand tight and then maybe a quarter turn more. So that's pretty stiff now. Um, and that's uh, straight enough for me to get this end in. And again, um, these are going to be down towards the end. The less you have to adjust these, the better. So get those kind of lined up. You see how those are kind of lined up all the same. And sometimes this, you know, you got to get four of these in the holes. Okay, there we go. So it's still a little too tight on that top one. I'll give it a little bit more room. We'll be able to make our adjustments a little later for that. But we'll get this all put together. Whoops. All right. So we'll get these four put on. And that is the basis of the, uh, the base. <laughs> basis of the base. So... I'll tighten those down and get those uh, lined up really straight, and I'll be back with my next video.